Hello and welcome to my video today on naming layers. Uh, this is important as an architect um, using AutoCAD to uh, have, a, have a system to your layers so that you can um, quickly turn groups on and off and switch between demolition, proposed and reflected ceiling plan layers. So in this, this video I'm going to be talking about layer names. In the next video I'll talk about uh, one quick method which is layer states to control your layers and I'll also in a following video I'll also talk about customizing the toolbar buttons which is these buttons on the on the right here uh, which will get you an even quicker method of controlling your layers. Now if I come down to my plan we'll see that in this plan I've got a demolition plan. Um, now in the demolition plan you would have the, demoli uh, the demolition layers on which is for, for that sort of paving area which is getting demolished um, th this by the way is an existing church that's an existing hall that's some existing toilets that are being demolished uh, existing pavings are being demolished and we're putting a new building in the middle a link between the church and the hall so the existing con conditions I've got the existing building here um, the demolition um, areas dashed and, I'll sh and it will turn out that I'll put my building in between uh, that's proposed and then I'll have uh, a reflected ceiling to propose reflected ceiling now that's these buttons I'll show you in the following video but to do this I'll start off showing you how you might la name your layers and as an architect you might you might want to put an A series of drawing which is proposed which is down from here to here all those A a drawings, uh, a layers, and they um, they're my proposed layers. Th then I've got a B series, which you could think of as base or existing layers, which which don't change through the project. Um, then I've got a demolition series uh, down here, which is the, the things that are going to be disappearing on the project. Uh, I also keep def points there, and I also keep a layer zero here. Um, now you might have a different um, preference for for naming your layers you could put um, say for example P in the front for proposed you might put X or EX for existing layers uh, you could even type the whole word existing you could type the whole word proposed or you could type you know the whole word demolition or you could just leave it as de demo uh, as I've done or uh, did I say D you could put a D there for demolition um, now I, I have an underscore here which you can't see in this window but um, you can see it here is it there's a little underscore between I, I just uh, um, I find that useful and um, and so that's how I'd name my layers oh you might also you might you might have site layers or landscaping layers which are beyond the building which you might want to control differently for site plans um, I haven't needed them on this drawing and uh, that would be on probably larger projects you'd use those so that's one method to um, of naming one system of naming layers I'll just get out of that apply say and in the next video I'll talk about using something called uh, layer states to well you probably know that you can just go through and turn on one by one or shift and uh, do that um, but there's quicker ways of turning them on and off, so I'll show you that in the following video. Okay, that's, that's all for this video.